In a heated race like the one between Pat Toomey and Katie McGinty, there have been a lot of charges thrown back and forth in campaign ads and during two debates. But for On the Record, we're looking at where the two candidates stand on important issues the Senate may be asked to vote on in the next term. And we sat down for exclusive one-on-one -on -one interviews with both candidates. Tonight, we take a look at gun control. When it comes to gun legislation, Pat Toomey and Katie McGinty have plenty of differences. I think that military weapons should be for the military. McGinty supports a ban on assault weapons, saying she comes from a family of hunters and sportsmen, but still believes some gun control measures are important. I think it's no disrespect to our sportsmen's culture, uh, which I think is very important to the fabric of who we are, to say that uh, criminals, the mentally infirm, you know, we want to make sure we have background checks in place so that... Do you support universal background checks? I do, I do. Toomey does not support an assault weapon ban and says he would vote against it. It's not a hypothetical. I voted against banning. I'll vote against banning any category of common and popular weapons. That's crazy. And it doesn't make us any safer. Uh, you know, if you... I, I'm a big Second Amendment supporter. I'm a gun owner. If you confiscate my gun, you haven't made anyone any safer because I'm not a threat. What I do support is background checks. I think back universal checks. background checks. I, I think we can expand our background check. I don't think that you, you need to have a background check uh, when uh, a husband is selling a, a rifle to his wife. And Toomey did push for more background checks in the Senate. Toomey introduced a bill that would require background checks for gun sales at gun shows and online, but not between family and friends. It was voted down several times. Finally, the two candidates agree on access for people on the terrorist watch list. Should someone on the terrorist watch list be kept from buying a gun? Yes, yeah, absolutely. The way I look at it, if we deem a person to be so dangerous that when they show up at the airport with a boarding pass and a license, we won't let them get on a plane, I don't think we should let them go down the road and buy an AR-15. I think we absolutely have to enable law enforcement to stop a person on a terrorist watch list from being able to buy the weapons of war. I think that it's critically important. For the record, Jerry Gish, News 8. And tomorrow in our For the Record report, Jerry talks to Toomey and McGinty about immigration. And we will put all of Jerry's stories on WGAL.com.